Marco. And I am Paul. And together we are the people who work on Solo's Food Truck. Solo's Food Truck, we do Italian food. You know, most things are based around calzones. Although we uh, have some interesting salads, like we have a fantastic kale salad, for example. But we do a variety of Italian calzones. We do all kind of fillings. We do um, a Greek calzone. We do an Irish stew calzone. Lots of stuff in calzones. We do a small apple pie calzone for dessert. We were in four local farmers markets. People loved our food. You know, we cooked at the markets. And we would hear all the time, you know, like you need a brick and mortar location. You need a brick and mortar location. You need a restaurant. Well, you know, a restaurant is a half million dollar proposition. And right now, everybody's, um, you know, pretty careful with their cash. So we realized, indeed, we do need a regular location, and a truck was just the fastest way into that. Italian sausage, it's pretty consistently popular. Uh, the eggplant parmesan definitely piqued some interest. We just, uh, our first day with the uh, turkey meatball was yesterday. And that went pretty quickly, even quicker today. So I think that's going to be pretty popular mm -hmm. later down the line. Adriana Marzullo, she learned to cook from her grandmothers. And the way they cooked in rural Italy, they used stuff that was produced close to hand, they used stuff that was pesticide free, they used good, solid, you know, wholesome ingredients, because that's all there was, you know? They, right. Everything that went into their dishes came within 10, 20 miles of, of where they lived. They cooked sustainably. So to us, you know, doing sustainable cooking, it's not, um, it's not some new thing, you know, we're not catching the environmental wave. You know, we view this as the return to tradition. So we're reaching back to our roots. Bigger and better. Mm -hmm. To stay local and stay organic.